Welcome to Location, the Locator News Web Edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Justin Solner. And I'm Kelsey Gastrava, and here's your news now. In Baghdad, despite the fatal bombing attacks, Iraq held its parliamentary election this Sunday, March 7th. According to the New York Times, the election was considered the most competitive in the nation's long history of colonial rule, dictatorship, and war. The polls closed at 5 p.m. and results of the election expected within the next few days. The number of faculty members granted tenure by colleges has decreased over time. Fifteen years ago, over 75% of Cabrini's full-time faculty was tenure. Today, Cabrini has 31 tenured faculty out of a total of 70 faculty members, or 44%. A professor at the University of Alabama, Amy Bishop, went on a murderous rampage after being denied tenure by the university. Bishop killed three faculty, including two biology professors, as well as the chair of the biology department. Three others were injured. Cabrini College's Body Coalition Club recently hosts a fashion show for National Body Awareness Month. Students walk the runway in various categories to represent that they are comfortable in their jeans. Let's check out this event with Alyssa. I'm Alyssa Menser on location here at Grace Hall where the Body Coalition is holding a fashion show for Eating Disorder Awareness Month. Let's take a look. Show models, get out here. My name is Andrea Cecil. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I work in counseling and psychological services at Cabrini College, and I am the staff advisor and founder of the Body Image Coalition. Cabrini College's Body Image Coalition is hosting this fashion show to promote positive body image, body acceptance, and to show students that you don't have to look like the models in the magazines, because they don't actually exist. My name is Lisa Stockton. I'm a senior social work major and I'm the president of the Body Image Coalition. My name is Rachel Wenzel. I'm a junior. I'm a marketing major. I'm the vice president of the Body Image Coalition. Hi, we're kind of making a mockery of the fashion industry, saying that you don't have to be a size double zero to be a model, that everyone is beautiful for the way that they are. The essential message that we want to impart to Cabrini students is that you should love your body. Love the body you were given. Cherish it, honor it, and take good care of it. And don't be so self-judgmental. To learn more about the Body Coalition, please visit cabrini.edu. Cabrini's Acceptance Students Day is approaching soon. Let's see where they will be living next school year and how they are paired with their roommates. Anticipation arises as incoming freshmen are placed in residence halls for their first year at Cabrini. The four possible residence halls for freshmen are East Residence Hall, Xavier, Woodcrest, and Roymans Hall. The freshmen can be paired with one to three roommates. And here's how the students are paired. This has been Gianna Chicatino on location. And now let's check in with Jake and Gianna on the dirt sheet. What's up all you stars and studs? I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino, and we're here to tell you that our segment Dirt Sheet now has its own weekly show. Wait, we're doing our own weekly show? Gee, why would we do that? Jake, come on, it's Cabrini. Let's do something extraordinary. <gasps> Great idea, Gianna. I have an idea. Let's make it all HD. And you can get your latest in entertainment, art, fashion, music, and movies. It's going to be so great. You guys have to see what we have in store for you. And you can check it out on thelocator.com. And next week, we'll give you a short sneak peek of what our show is going to be like. 
And that's all we have for you this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Vettorano, the Glamazon. But now, let's take a sneak peek at Cabrini's Spring Show, the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Hi, I'm Danielle McLaughlin on location, and today we're here at the Cabrini College Theater, where on March 18th, they'll open their doors to perform the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. On March 18th, the Cabrini College Theater, located in Grace Hall, will open their doors for the debut of their play, the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. This play is about a group of 12-year-old kids competing in a spelling bee. Make sure you come and watch as the drama unfolds. on location. Back to you at the news desk. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Danielle! Goodbye. Now let's check in with Liz for your weather. Liz here, and I'm going to bring you your weather forecast for the next few days. Unfortunately, the gorgeous weather that has been sustained these past few days will be going away over the weekend. Thursday, there's going to be cloudy skies with a high 64 and a low 47. Friday, lots of rain with a high around 54 and a low 50. The rain continues through the weekend with Saturday and Sunday highs both being 60 and the lows in the upper 40s. That's all I have for you today. Back to the, you at the news desk. And now let's check in with what's going on at Cabrini in the month of March. On Saturday, March 13th, Catford is headed to New York to see Mary Poppins. Purchase your tickets in the SEAL office. On Tuesday, March 16th, join Catford for Bingo Night, starting at 9 p.m. in Jasmine's. Thursday, March 18th, is opening night of Cabrini's Spring Show, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, which runs until March 28th. Pick up your free tickets in the SEAL office. Juniors, on Thursday, March 25th, don't forget to register for the fall semester. Go to www.cabrini.edu backslash webtms for a list of courses offered. On Sunday, March 28th, Capboard presents Glow in the Dark Dodgeball in the Dixon Center at 5 p.m. Register your team in West Residence Hall by Thursday, March 25th. Sophomores, on Monday, March 29th, don't forget to register for fall classes. Go to www.cabrini.edu backslash webtms for a list of courses offered. And those are some of your events in the month of March. And now a story that hits close to home. Colleen LaRoe is known by the FBI as Jihad Jane, has been charged in federal court for using the internet as a recruitment tool to carry out acts over terrorism overseas. She allegedly looking to kill Lars Vilks, the artist who drew the controversial cartoons of Muhammad. Paul Bristol, a resident of the United Kingdom, killed ex-girlfriend over photos of her and another man posted on Facebook. He has been sentenced to at least 22 years in prison. And now let's check in with Nick with your sports. What's going on, all your sports fans? Nick Golden here with your two-minute drill. The Steelers star quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, was accused of sexually assaulting a 20-year-old college student in a bar bathroom early Friday morning. This is the second time Big Ben has had sexual assault allegations against him in an eight-month span. Ben, you have a $100 million contract and two Super Bowl rings. Why are you even getting yourself involved in these type of situations? Number 13, men's lacrosse, lost to number five, Roanoke, on Saturday, March 6th, with a score of 21 to seven. The Cavs are now 2-2 two two as they head into a five-game homestand beginning March 13th against Kenyon College. The record set in Cabrini men's basketball team finished up its season Friday, March 5th in the NCAA tournament. They lost to Randolph-Macon College with a score of 95-66. to That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. That's all we have for you this week. Tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Silner. Have a great day.